Let's do a few problems from the piecewise functions worksheet. These functions are called piecewise because they have more than one piece. On number one, we need to graph y equals x minus 1. That's a negative x minus 1. So that will have a y-intercept of negative 1 and a slope of negative 1. Now we notice here that we only graph this part of the function, or this piece, when x is less than or equal to 0. So these points will actually not be on that piece. So let's start reversing the direction here. We can, instead of going down one, right one, we can go up one, left one. So for this piece of our function, I'm going to draw the line for negative x minus 1, or y equals negative x minus 1, but only where x is less than or equal to 0. So I'll start at 0 and go off to the left, because that's where the x's are that are less than 0. So that's the first piece of our piecewise function. The second piece is f of x equals negative 4, so we need to graph y equals 4, but only where x is greater than 0. Well, the line y equals 4, that's a horizontal line through 4 on the y-axis, but only for this particular function, only where x is greater than 0. So I'm going to start where x equals 0, and we'll have an open point there. That means that 0 is actually not on this piece, and the x's that are greater than 0 are off to the right. So here's the graph of our piecewise function. When x is less than or equal to 0, we have f of x equals negative x minus 1. When x is greater than 0, we have f of x equals negative 4. Let's try one more. Here we have the g function. This is also a piecewise function. It will have two pieces. And we need to graph y equals negative 1, but only for when x is less than or equal to 3. All right, once again, this is a horizontal line, this time through negative 1. And we're going to start that graph at 3. And this time we'll do a closed point, because this piece has an equal bar there. So horizontal line through negative 1 on the y-axis. And the x's that are less than 3 are off to the left. In the second piece of the graph, we want to graph y equals x plus 1. But only when x is greater than 3. All right, this graph has a y-intercept of 1 and a slope of 1. So we'll start our graph at 1 on the y-axis. And I'm just graphing it in general right now. We'll consider that x is greater than 3 here in just a moment. Slope of 1 means up 1, right 1. This piece starts when x is greater than 3. So at 3, I'm actually going to have an open point because 3 is not part of that piece, but everything to the right of 3 is. So I'm going to start the graph and move off this way and erase these other points. Hopefully this tutorial has been helpful. Signing off.